officially summer of 2020 and I couldn't be more excited. This is my favorite season. I just want to go out and hike, get wet, but obviously being safe at the same time, taking precautions and listening to the CDC guidelines whenever you do go out. I love, love, love traveling. All of this is native land and we have to be really respectful. Make sure you pick up your trash or you don't disrespect other people. You know, just, just be kind. So with that being said, with these ideas, I will be creating the videos and I'm gonna try to like do more of a how to get there because I know I've been getting a lot of comments on like how do I get there, like what are the exits and and how do I put it in my GPS. So definitely gonna give you more information about that. I'm gonna give you more historical context on like where we're at, why it's important. Um, just so you're also like educating yourself while going to these beautiful places. I'm excited to show you guys the the other side of the bucket list where it's not just locations but it is also things that I want to do things that a lot of us have been wanting to do especially being quarantined like there are so many cool things to do at home that you could recreate like if you were traveling why not just have fun enjoy what we have now and let's not be worried about what we don't have because we can't control it so this is just a positive video of us wanting to do things during the summer, but also being safe. Also, you will hear a lot of water sounds because my room is like next to the washing machine. Before we go through the ideas, I just also wanted to let you guys know a little bit more about me. Um, I'm Latina. I am from the United States. I was born in LA, born and raised in LA, but my parents are from Mexico specifically Michoacan and Oaxaca. Super, super proud of my roots. Once we can safely travel through airplane, I want to go back to Michoacan and Oaxaca and just visit the beautiful cities and it's just so gorgeous and I'm super proud of my roots. Let me show you the bucket list and let me go through all the ideas with you guys. So the first location is the San Diego potato hike, potato chip hike. It didn't fit so I just put potato but it's the potato chip hike. It looks like this and it's a rock that looks like a potato chip. It's just all over Pinterest and like social media so I've been wanting to go an excuse to work out and also find this crazy looking rock. Um, so yeah. Then it's the Palm Springs hike. You, so it's like on the San Andreas Fault. It's due to move eventually. It's due to like I don't know what I'm saying. I need to go back to school. There's a hiking trail in Palm Springs that is on top of the San Andreas Fault. And the San Andreas Fault is due to move any second now. We're supposed to have this big earthquake here in California, but we haven't had it yet. Definitely super cool to go if you love palm trees. There are palm trees everywhere. There's like a little bridge. It's beautiful. Definitely a place that you should check out. Third place is Death Valley, the sand dunes. Um, there are a couple of places where there's sand dunes in the United States and I've been wanting to go and Alvin, my husband, wants to go too. So that's definitely a place that we're going to be heading this summer. So San Diego, you're going to be hearing a lot about San Diego because it's super close to me. In San Diego, there are a lot of hiking trails. Um, this is the time to hike. You get to social distance from people, but you also get a workout and a beautiful photo. So this is what it looks like, Ho Chi Minh Trail. Um, it's like a beautiful like rock formation and I want to go visit. Next is Los Padres National Forest. That is a place that I recently visited, but it was on my bucket list. I just postponed this video and now it's done but definitely Los Padres National Forest is a place to visit it's beautiful it's a river actually filled with water because we know California is in a drought or well, was in a drought and it still kind of doesn't have much water but anyways watch my video I will link it right here and also you like look it's gorgeous so definitely recommend that you visit next on the list is Treasure Island Laguna I just love the beach so definitely want to check out Laguna um, it's I've shot my engagement video there so it's beautiful and I just want to explore a little bit more next is Crystal Cove State Beach I've been there before with my family it was so cute here's a picture and I just want to take Alvin too and, and show him the beauty of Orange County beaches um, yeah that's it 
Next is the Pirate Tower Laguna. So I saw this on Pinterest when I was looking for like places to visit and it's literally a tower and on behind one well, front of the tower is like a natural pool. It looks so pretty. You have to just go at the right time. Also make sure that there's not too many people because it's it looks pretty small in the photos. The Mosaic House in Venice Beach is something that I also stumbled upon on Pinterest. Thank you for Pinterest. Um, it looks pretty. It looks very artistic. I want to learn more about why this began, who made this. Solvang. So after going to the National the Los Padres National Forest, we hit a little town called Solvang. It's farther up, so going more towards Northern California. But it is so cute. It's like perfect little Danish town. Um, there's a lot of historical context to it. Some Danish people immigrated and just wanted to have a Danish town, something that felt like home. So they built this cute little town and it looks like you're somewhere else. So definitely wanted to go to take photos. Next on the bucket list is La Jolla Street. Oh, Street. Sorry, I can't read my writing. La Jolla Secret Swing. And it's just also Pinterest. Pinterest, Pinterest, Pinterest. Um, it is a swing that is a secret. That's all I can say. I want to find it. It looks cute. Who put that swing there? Why? Maybe I find out. Maybe I don't. And then go get some ice cream in San Diego. Just an excuse to go back to San Diego because I just love San Diego. Next is also San Diego. Old Town San Diego. It, there's a lot of um, Hispanic cultural history and I definitely want to learn more about it. I know, I mean, Tijuana is right there, the Mexican border. Definitely want to learn more about like what it has to do with my culture. It's beautiful, it reminds me of Placito Olvera in downtown Los Angeles. So I just want to go visit and learn more about the history of that place. Next is Sunset Cliffs, San Diego. I was on YouTube and I saw some people jumping off a cliff and I'm like, where is this? This looks like San Diego. Oh my gosh, it's San Diego. It's right there. I would never do that. But this place looks so pretty to like stargaze, just sit there till the sun sets. It just looks pretty romantic. So I definitely want to go check it out, see what the hype is all about. I don't know if I would be willing to jump off this cliff. I'm just a very, I'm, I'm a scary cat and I don't know, it just looks scary. I don't know if like when you jump off, you're gonna hit a rock or something. And they, this dude on the video got cut, like his foot was cut, like not super bad, but it was cut. Anyways, probably not gonna jump off. Next is Carlsbad, I think that's how you say it, <laughs> flower field. I don't know when the season for that is. I just wrote it down because I'm gonna have to visit it because I it looks gorgeous. So that's definitely on my bucket list. If this is a season, like summer is a season, I'm gonna go. Hey guys, so I had to get on a Zoom call and now it's 11, 18. So we're gonna finish this off, finish what's on the bucket list um, and go over everything. So let's get to it. Next is Leo Carrillo Ranch and this is going towards uh, San Diego as well. Definitely wanna check that out along with the flower fields. Um, there's a lot of historical context to this place. It's free and it seems like a safe place to visit during this time. Next is the Grand Canyon. Oh my gosh, I've been dying to go. I was supposed to get engaged at the Grand Canyon. She's not married now, but I still wanna go and visit. It just, it looks beautiful in pictures. Um, but when they open up, I'm gonna head over there. Hopefully it's like in the summer. But look how beautiful it looks, like, oh, I'm so excited that this is on the bucket list, but let's move on. Next is the Three Sister Falls in San Diego. I believe it's in San Diego. Um, I was on Pinterest and I saw this like water slide, natural water slide on like a smooth rock. And I was like, I have to go. I have to be there because I love the water and this is nature. And I saw like a video on the hike to get there and it's really intense. Like you go through a rope and you there's no like pathway set necessarily. So that one's gonna be interesting. I don't know if I'm gonna do it. Definitely looks beautiful and I wanna go, but we'll see. 
I want to go to Venice Beach because there's a lot artistically there, like a lot of paintings, um, murals. But I know it gets really packed and I'm not sure if people are necessarily following the mask rule. So that one's going to be like not for sure, but definitely want to check it out. And also the canals at Venice Beach. It's kind of like little Italy, like it reminds you of Italy with the gondolas. Um, so we'll see, but that's on my bucket list. Next one is the Malibu Farms, Malibu Farm restaurant hike. So like it's a restaurant and then there's also like places to hike around there. Um, I know like some of my friends have gone, but I thought it was always expensive. Not sure how much it costs, but I think that's on my bucket list. Like just eating by the ocean in Malibu, goals. Next is hiking in Whittier. That's very local to me. Um, I know a lot of my friends go hiking there. It, they say it's intense. So why not like just try out this hiking trail? Um, it's not very like pretty and stuff from like pictures I've seen, but who knows, like maybe I'll enjoy it. So now we're gonna talk about the things that are on my bucket list. Not the locations, but just things like that I can do at home or things that I could do at these locations. So let me start. Um, paint, like painting. Um, I wanna just paint like on a poster board or um, maybe like a canvas. It's definitely something that like as you get older you stop doing but it's been helping my mental health um, personally so I'm gonna start painting more. Next is go to a farmer's market. I don't know if they're open, if they're gonna be open. I, I know like there's a new normal so hopefully there's like a farmer's market and I get to pick some fresh veggies and fruits, never done it but it sounds like healthy, a good lifestyle, a good way to live your life. So I'm excited about that one. Next is try a new ice cream flavor. I'm basic. I love butter pecan and that's it. I won't, well I can do vanilla chocolate chip and maybe like the dough, but I don't, I don't know. It's just like, I love butter pecan. So I'm gonna get out of my comfort zone and try another flavor of ice cream and I mean, I'm gonna document it, so I'll let you know how that goes. Next is create a 2020 summer playlist. Um, this could be a little bit tedious, but I think I find myself like just scrolling through my playlist of a thousand songs to find like that summer vibe song. So instead of doing that, why not create a summer playlist that I just like bloop, play on Spotify and you know, summer vibes are on. And like on these trips, I get to listen to my summer 2020 playlist. Next is drink eight cups of water a day, like these little babies. Because I am really bad at drinking water, like eight cups of water. And it's just, it, I have to do it. Next is post two times a week on YouTube. I, I want to, and it's gonna be difficult, but these things make it fun and I'm excited like, I've been really wanting to post more often, but each video takes very long to edit. But um, that being said, I'm just, it's a summer bucket list. It's a goal and I hope it happens. Next is plant my own garden. I've been wanting a little baby garden, um, something that I can take care because I've heard that like when you name a plant after yourself, and you forget to water it, it really shows you like how you really neglect taking care of yourself. Like you see it and you're like, wow, I have to go give it water. Like I'm, I'm killing myself basically if I'm not like feeding my plants. So I think that's like a good lesson to like teach me how to take care of myself better. Um, and plus like having your own bread, veggies and fruits and whatever at, in your house, like that's so healthy. So definitely gonna, Definitely doing that one. Next is working out three times a week. Yo, being in quarantine, I've gained some weight. I've been a little stick, a little palito, and now I'm like, you know, a little bit, I, I have a little something and I've been called out by my family and it's like, I just gotta work out for my health. Um, it's okay, like I love the size I am now, but definitely for my health, um, I'm less active now because I don't like, walk to my car or like walk to work. So yeah, definitely have to work out three times a week at least to stay healthy. 
Next is get a job, girl. Get off of unemployment because yeah, I just need a job. You know, your girl needs a job. So if you want to give me a job, hit me up. Go on Instagram, DM me, say I want to give you a job. Nothing inappropriate, please. I prefer remote jobs and we can talk about it later. Next is read the Bible every day. Um, I'm Christian and I definitely want to continue to read the Bible and I mean it's a priority. It's, it is my priority and I need to separate some time each day to just sit down and read the Bible just like I separate time every day to watch TV or Netflix or YouTube videos. Um, so that's obviously going to be something that I do accomplish. I think just doing your best sometimes you might not feel like it but definitely doing my best to read the bible every day is the goal that next is take my dog fluffy to a dog park um he deserves better he deserves a good life so i want to find dog parks where he can socialize with other dogs and run a, like run around without a little why can't i talk run around without a leash and so Definitely, that's gonna be fun finding because I've never been to a dog park, um, and it's cute to see like your little pets like making friends. It's like your mom. Next is buy a tongue scraper. I've been wanting a tongue scraper for the longest. I don't know. I've just heard <laughs> it's good for you. It all the bacteria is on your tongue. I know this is a random one, but I definitely have to buy one. Don't want to go on Amazon, but I might have to. Um, yeah next is play video games with my husband um he enjoys playing video games and i don't but compromise and i do love mario kart i love racing games so i'm gonna start with that and then start with the fighting games um not the shooting ones i don't like the shooting ones next is a spa day because self-care is important and it shouldn't be just one day out of the whole summer. Definitely gonna shoot for multiple days, um, but at least one. And I wanna mix it up with like a hotel that like you see on Pinterest or Instagram that has like this beautiful spa set up. I wanna recreate that because we can't travel right now, like flying to like Thailand or all these beautiful countries. Um, so wanna recreate that in my own house and, and like pamper myself at least a couple of times because we deserve it. Next is go to a farm. I want to go strawberry picking. I've seen everyone put that on their list, so definitely wanted to include that one. Um, it seems like fun, it's organic, and you're also contributing. I think you have to pay like a fee to go to the farm, go in. So you're helping the farm at the end of the day, at, at the end of the day as well. It's late guys, bear with me. Next, the next one is posting consistently on Instagram. This one's going to be really hard because I, I'm i not like attached to social media. Like if I need a break, I need a break and I don't care. Like I will step away from it. But you know, when you're building a brand, it's about consistency. So definitely want to continue to post. Um, yeah, it's going to be tough, but it's a challenge. That's why it's on this bucket list because it's a goal and it's something that I want to achieve. And if I don't achieve it, it's okay but I want to and I'm gonna try my best. Next is stargazing. There are no stars in LA. It's full of pollution because we have tons of freeways, the 405, 710, 105, I can list them all. And we also have a lot of warehouses. We have the Long Beach port. Girl, I can go on with all the pollution that's in LA County. So there are no stars here, um, maybe just one until you realize it's an airplane going to LAX. But if I go to like the sand dunes or um, like San Diego, I think there are stars there. I don't know, but definitely want to check it out um, when I see the sunset at Sunset Cliffs. So see how my, like I'm integrating these to these locations? Yeah. So I'm going to try, but there are no stars, guys. Like, what can I do? I'm not going to lie to you guys. So I'm going to try, but this one's like really not in my control okay next one the next one is travel inspo wall and i did an ugly little plane look that is not a plane and this is why i need to practice my artistic skills 
and that is why painting is number one. I, I want to do like a travel inspo walk because I believe like when you see something, you set your mind to it and you subconsciously go about your day um, making decisions that will lead you to those places that you want to go to. It's kind of like a vision board. So definitely want to put um, like these beautiful pictures on my wall. It'll inspire me every day to make more videos and, and it's just like a good, I don't know, good feeling to see these like pretty pictures on, on your wall. Next one is cook. I want to cook more, but like more healthy. Um, maybe that could be like a video of a cultural food from my family. Um, I love tinga and I make the best tinga. It's probably the only thing that I do the best, um, but um, or that I don't burn. I have put too much chipotle sauce on there and burned people's you know body, but they still loved it. So maybe like cooking, teaching you like how to make a special dish from my country. And yeah, it's like a good excuse to also cook. Photo shoots. When I go to these places, like I'm gonna take pictures. So it's already like, I'm already gonna be doing it. Next is sunset plus time-lapse. So like looking at a sunset and doing a time-lapse on my iPhone. Um, I've done it before if you go to my um, San Antonio travel solo San Antonio video on my channel you can see that I did a time lapse of the like um, the freeway and all the hotels in downtown San Antonio and it looks pretty cool like the sunset in the sky makes it look gorgeous so I um, want to do that for the sunset though next is celebrate my husband's birthday because it is in August and we want to get creative here right so figuring out a way to celebrate his birthday, um, maybe we go somewhere that he really enjoys, just like getting out of the house because we've been, we, we, we're literally in the house all day. So definitely something special for him. Next is back to school. I'm going back to, why did I say it like that? I'm going back to school, just community college for now. Um, wanted to take like two courses, a writing course and a Premier Pro course just to like brushing up my skills. Next is TikTok DIYs. I've been seeing some videos too about like the DIYs and they're pretty legit and cool. Like didn't even think a lot of these things were even possible. The second to last is visit my grandma and my dad. So it is a little bit hard since we're quarantined, but um, I wanna make an effort to visit them and just make sure they're okay and you know, just check up on them. The next one is the last one no the sec there's two more sorry <laughs> why am i so shocked the next one is herb medicine um and it kind of ties in well it does tie into like going to farmer's market where you can get organic produce maybe like plant those seeds into your your own garden and then um, from there you can like plant herbs and create like at home remedies for like when your tonsils hurt when you like burn yourself when you get bruised whatever it is like Medicine is made out of these natural plants and if we learn how to use them properly it can definitely save our lives because a lot of the medicine has like all these chemicals and they make money off of you. The last one on the list is be more sustainable at home. That includes composting and like saving water so like when I shower being like understanding and informed on like how much water i should be using like sh should i be taking 30 minute showers no i don't think so um so just being mindful of these things that affect our earth um we are in a real pickle here on earth and we need to do our best to take care of it and it starts one person at a time so i want to do my part learn more about composting because that's a whole different beast like all these different things about sustainability are things that we have to learn and retrain our minds and be decolonized from all these different like methods of like using a lot of plastic using a lot of like a lot of things that are unsustainable for the earth that concludes the bucket list it looks gorgeous from far away do not look at it from close i'm excited to like be um like I have a list of places I can visit now, but also like things that I actually want to do and implement into my life and that are positive. 
Um, traveling is good for your mental health. It could be, um, it gives you sort of excitement. Like I look forward to going to this place. And so it gives you like that joy. Um, obviously be safe while going to these places. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and share it with your friends. Um, these are awesome locations around LA County and also amazing things to do that will benefit your health, your mental health, and just make you a better person by drinking eight cups of water. Like everyone needs to do that. So feel free to share and also subscribe if you haven't done so already. Join the travel family, join hola.cheryl family. Um, follow me on Instagram. I would love to be friends with you guys. Send me a DM and tell me if you did any of these things or if you have any like other places that you've gone to and you think I should go. Um, and I love making videos. So definitely gonna, I'm excited to make videos of these locations. I love getting out there and just doing the thing going to these places. So thank you so much for watching again. I'm gonna go to sleep and I will see you guys on the next adventure. Bye.